Well, imagine beating rush hour traffic by simply opening your phone, ordering a quick little flight, right? Sounds yeah. very Elon Musk to me. Officials at Tampa International Airport say that possibility is much closer than you think. This is some Jetsons type stuff right here. The airport is testing out what they're calling a volocopter this morning. It's Ooh. essentially an electric helicopter. Not only is this a first for Florida, but a major step for any large U.S. airport to get on board with something like this. That's what I'm talking about right here. Looks pretty cool. It looks, looks like a toy. extra cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, the electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, or Evatol for short, okay, new everything, will have just one test pilot, no passengers this time. While it might be a few years before you or I can book one of these, this helicopter will be focused on short to medium range flights. Its speed tops 70 to 80 miles per hour. And if you're wondering about safety, all of these will be FAA certified like any other aircraft out there. The goal is to lower the carbon footprint of the aviation industry, but also alleviate traffic problems locally. I think this is really uh, unique to our area, just the geography. We've got a lot of bridges, a lot of roadway congestion, and I think this will be an option in the future when we look out a couple of years from now uh, for folks to be able to take this uh, on a, a drive that could have taken an hour, only a few minutes. Well, the test flight is happening in just a few hours, 9 o'clock this morning. Leaders like Mayor Jane Castor as well as FDOT and Hillsborough County Aviation Authority will be here Ahead on Brightside at 6.30, we will take a look at how far that thing right there can take you.